You guys, love and hip hop Atlanta, baby. Let's get to this one. This is the life, 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 this it ain't nothing like hip hop music, 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 music. This is the life, this is the life, this is the life. It starts off with Mimi and Stevie J. Are they, I guess they're cons consulting in this business partner thing. Guys, they gotten this girl, Tiffany Fox. I think I remember a little bit about this girl, but I don't know. But anyway, she got a little, you know, she got some bars. She, 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 I, right. she good, she Gucci. I like her. Um, anyway, they was, in, they was having this little meeting or whatnot. And I'm, I'm even surprised Mimi and Stevie J is still talking after all the stuff that happened on last season. So this man offers her a bottle of his sperm. Ew. Stevie J, little nasty motherfucker. Ugh. Nasty ass. Oh, Mimi proceeds to get in Stevie J's ass by Jason. Y'all know her and Jason are not the best of that you know they, they hate each other okay so he was like she was like yo bitch ain't right and she do this and she do that and y'all y'all know Mimi is my girl I, I ride with Mimi to the fullest that's my bag but anyway we gonna see how I, I, I really don't know what to think about Stevie J and uh, Mimi's relationship but I am glad to see that they are talking but as far as if Jocelyn and Mimi will ever be ever talk to each other. I highly doubt that. Highly doubt that. Well, then you got this booty shaking, rump shaking, doing a little twerk a lot, twerk a lot, twerk a lot, shaking her little fancy booty ass, getting her little dollars, getting her quaint, uh, a Jessica dime piece. This girl is a little hell, okay. Okay, I, I, okay, she, you know, she, 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 she a little thick. She a little thick, I'll give her that, but, baby. Mind you, this girl, ass showing out, she got this little half swimsuit, and then her, she got her little booking agent with her, and she look like old girl from Players Club, Ronnie. Two years Slash Nicki Minaj with the little pink wheel. But I guess it wasn't the right. So Jocelyn and Jessica was been friends or something like that, but they got out of contact with each other. She said Jocelyn been acting all brand new because she used to do the same thing that Jocelyn used to do. You know, it's just it's 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 catty. You know, it's getting ready to be some shade with with that. As soon as they see each other, as soon as she find out that. Soon as Jocelyn find out that Jessica's coming to Atlanta, it's going to be thick shade. It's going to be fucking thick shade. It's going to be shade. Oh, here we go, Mama D. Yeah, baby. Ready? Oh, yes, I am. Things between Mama D and I have been pretty cool. Ever since she dropped her little single, I deserve, she got a little money. She's been really nice. Even though me and Scrappy aren't in a good place, Mama D has been putting an effort forth to treat me like she should have been treating the mother of her grandchild. Wow. So what's going on? I guess Scrappy is here with the bamster. Years. But it might be time wow. to take legal action. If I run into Scrappy, my plan is to just keep it pushing. I'll see you. Wow. Uh-uh-uh. So guess who shows up at the Clizzle? Uh -huh. See, it's Scrappy and of course it's Lil' Bird. Oh, wow. Tonight, I'm not here for any foolishness. I'm here to support Mama D. Erica. Huh? She right behind me. Yeah. Wow. Me and baby mama Erica, we ain't been speaking. We've been beefing over their child support situation. At the end of the day, ain't nobody gonna tell me what doing to come to my kid, you feel me? I heard that. Now, it cool that mom, Deuce, and Erica are getting along now. About goddamn time. <laughs> you keep that over up. Cause your boy don't need now dad on problem. Okay, Mama D's performance Crazy, is ratchet. She ain't really feeling me right now, but I'm just here to support. I wasn't really Wow, okay. They should show a little bit of that performance, then Bambi over here talking shit about Mama D. It's about to be some shade. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Mama D and uh-oh and Bambi. So spreading all wow. 
Uh oh, let's get ready to be some shade. Here we go. They made me wish they never start speaking again. So maybe you need to talk to her and clear it up with her. I ain't got nothing to clear up. You know what I'm saying? All I clear up is with my daughter. My daughter know me. That's all I care about. Mm. So you got all the girls, they together, they just gossiping. You got Erica, Carly Red, Mimi, Arian, Rashida. Sleazy J special sauce. What? Uh-oh. Eva has been talking about she wants a little brother. So he came to me talking about special sauce. But let me tell you the good thing. Okay. I'm at a point now with him that the emotion is completely out of the picture. Well, I honestly feel you on that. Because hopefully, you know, Lord willing, me and Scrap, we can get to a place where we're just on the same page. What is going on with Scrap? Not, um, so, this is pretty much just spilling tea. We got this half bald headed ass chick <clears throat> who's getting ready to meet up with Nico. Wow, this is not surprising. Her name is Margo, and she's an inspired singer-songwriter. Okay, well, we're going to see what shade and what tea you going to spill. That don't spice up the situation a bit more. She's married to Nico. Wow, so this is the one. Oh, so, so you know, if she ever meet Mimi, oh, it's going to be down. Ooh, shit. So, that's even, even more interesting. So, we finally met Nico's wife, and then you see Nico. Here we go. So Nico proceeds to tell lies. He begins to spread lies. He's, he begins to spread lies. Pretty much, he told his wife that he planned the sex tape and, and he know that Mimi didn't, had, didn't know nothing about the sex tape. So he's lying to both of them. So now that Mimi found out with the type of snake that Nico is, Nico lies to his open relationship that he had with his wife. Okay, they ain't been seeing each other or some shit like that and he lied to her because he literally just told her that this damn sex tape was planned when he you know damn well he was the one who probably planned the shit like I said from day one. He was the one who planned it. Mimi didn't have nothing to do with it. The only reason why she signed it was because she was forced to sign it. Okay, so I knew it. I knew it. I knew it from day one. They at this little showcase for Tiffany, and he's drunk, and he is telling her she looks great, and Nico is just showing his ass. Somebody's been drinking. Stevie is showing his complete ass. See, I was his partner. I would definitely be in right now. Wow. I see you. So, here goes Tiffany Fox. I'm not gonna like waste her. my name. Shut your ass down. I, I, I'm just telling the real truth. He is showing his ass right now. I'm not being disrespectful. So, he is. So, she made a mistake for inviting him, pretty much. I'm sorry. Maybe this was a mistake. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Like, this is not cool right now. Die. Go ahead before. Yo, Tiffany. Oh, my he is a hot ass mess. Like, what? <laughs> wow. Kirk. My smile has gone to a frown very fast. Y'all know I'm not a, I'm not big on Kirk at all. The way he treated Rashida, but anyway, that's in the past. They worked it out. So then he signs this girl, Ashley Nicole, which that sounds like a porn star name for some reason. I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> uh, he signs her. They had this little meeting at his little suite or what, not his little manager suite or something like that. And they just talking and I don't know. It looked like it might be some sexual tension between them. Let's be very serious. So, made me looking fabulous for a photo shoot for a little book. Yes, work, work, work. Then Nico comes in and rain on the parade. You look great. I'm stinking ass. So Nico is greedy, pretty much. He already not only did they already do the sex take, he is saying that he has three percent of this new book or something like that, and that they ain't a part of the you know they ain't in no relationship, but they're business partners and. He is greedy, and he's getting ready. This stuff is getting ready to come back on him. I can't. Ooh, ooh, Nico. Ooh, you just you you make me itch. So, Rashida is trying to open up her own store, and Kirk won't give her the money. Cheap bastard. Wow. Stevie. 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 The truth. Stevie. She with substance abuse. Seriously, did you fail drug tests or not? 
So I'm he's been fucking. I mean, he's been drug test failing drug tests. I got this under control. Well, obviously, you don't. I'm seeing this man spiral out of control right in front uh, of my uh, eyes, uh, and uh, I'm uh, so uh, sure uh, his wife has change. something to do with it. Where's Jocelyn? Is that your issue? You having issues at home, so you drinking and using? She's away right now. Where? Jail? The zoo? <laughs> you ain't getting yourself together. She <laughs> said, where? She's jail? Things with herself. What does that mean? I mean, come on, let's not even get into that. Stevie can try to riddle me left and right about his wife's whereabouts, but whether he wants to admit it or not, she is a big part of his problem, uh. and I'm not about to let her take me down with him. Oh, hell no. Yeah, I'm in. Let alone my Oh, damn. Nico. Eat off you no more. Stevie about to do this. <laughs> oh, oh. Stevie about to meet up with Freako ass. They about to, they about to turn up. He about to pull a fucking WWEF. Hell no. Uh oh, Stevie is not playing about his daughter. And then Freako comes out the car. Oh, hell no. Contract is a contract. Mimi Faust signed, sealed, and delivered. Wow. Well, you know, Mimi is my family, no matter what. And she told me about this book deal you got. Uh -oh. You'll never eat off my daughter or my family. Okay, how you want to stop it? I don't know. We can handle it however you want to handle it, but it ain't going down. The contract sit right next to the book that I got in the safe. You want to pay me out? How Let's much? Tell, just tell me your number. Two million. I wouldn't give you two million if you was the last on this earth. Mimi and I made a sex tape that blew up and made a million. Oh, wow. All he was in so the was the money. money. The book deal. If Stephen Jones wants to buy me out, price is two million, my friend. We all know you ain't got it. Because if you did have it, you'd have to pay it up to the feds. And that always have a competition. Out of respect, right, right. Came in, I met my wife. I don't have nothing personal with you. It's business for me. Uh, Mimi signed the contract. I own her. 25%. Uh, you own her 25% of her publishing. You know something about selling and signing over your publishing. I know about signing and publishing away. <laughs> because I made 100 million hits in the business. And you're not going to get bought out. You, you know what I'm saying? You got child support. You got to pay. What about my child support? Right. I just want to help you with that. You don't, I don't need I want to help you with that. Oh, wow. Sure. If you want to help me, this about you can I'm gonna get in your truck and just drive off, man. I'm just telling you what it is. I got the manuscript and I got the contract. If I wanted to, I could put the book out myself. But you know what I'm gonna tell you? If you do that, look at me, man. It, it's gonna hurt you to your heart. <laughs> See, I got stuff on this dude, Nico, that he don't want nobody to know about. What? He's so crazy that if I the Nico, shade. I feel sorry for you. Oh, shade. The truth of the oh, is, you violate my You better family. spill it. I handle you. I dismantle you. Your wife is I not going to appreciate reality. you once reality. I'm finished doing what I got to do, man. And the street's not going to respect you. I don't take well to threats. I don't, I don't, oh, I don't yeah. know. Listen, listen, this is a promise, my oh. Your wife's going to be with me after this. So I'm going to f*** your wife. All right? I'd like to see that. I want to see that tape. Because I got yours already. Yeah. Your baby mom. Every girl you've been with, I've been with them first. F*** all of that. Yeah. You put the book out, you're going to force my hand, man. Your what? Your going to eat from this book. Don't ever mention my daughter. That's my daughter. That's me. I put Mimi in a position that's going to take care of her and her daughter. What I told you. About that. What I told you. Oh, he took that when you tell me he spit his ass. <laughs> oh. Look to this season. It is going to go the fuck down. Uh, Y'all, oh, I just love me some Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. I might fool around and do every episode. This is Forever Branded TV. Get your life.